Up to this point, you may know that HIV is dangerous and there is no cure but if diagnosed early then it can be treated and you can live happily ever after. So let's get straight to the problem. How can HIV be diagnosed? Well, the only definitive way to know if you have HIV or not is to get tested. While certain symptoms may suggest the presence of HIV, they are not reliable because many of the symptoms associated with HIV can also be caused by other illnesses. Symptoms of HIV can vary vastly depending on the individual and the stage of the disease. Within 2-4 to four weeks after infection with HIV, about 70% of people will have flu-like symptoms. This is the body's natural response to HIV infection. And then, as the virus continues to multiply and destroy our immune system, the flu-like symptoms may go away. People in this stage may not feel sick or have any symptoms at all because the immune system is collapsing and therefore our body shows no sign of reaction. Without HIV treatment, people can stay in this stage for 10 to 15 years and in this stage, you may not realize that you are infected and can pass on HIV to others. The disease will typically progress to AIDS afterwards. By the time AIDS develops, your immune system has been severely damaged, making you susceptible to opportunistic infections. The signs and symptoms of some of these infections may include extreme fatigue, rapid weight loss, getting fever for several weeks, chronic diarrhea, persistent spots or unusual lesions or rash in your mouth or on your skin. Please remember, these symptoms can be very similar to those caused by other illnesses. Therefore, testing is crucial for a definitive HIV diagnosis. So, when should I get tested? Well, if you have certain risk factors, you should consider getting tested. Here are some situations when you should consider getting an HIV test. 1. You have had sex with someone who has HIV. 2. You have had more than one sex partner since your last HIV test. 3. You share needles, serums, or other drug injection equipment. 4. You've been diagnosed with other sexually transmitted diseases. 5. You've been diagnosed with hepatitis or tuberculosis. And 6. You have had sex with someone who has done anything listed above or with someone whose sexual history you don't know. Moreover, if you are bisexual and also sexually active, you may benefit from more frequent testing, usually once every 3-6 to six months. And all pregnant women should get tested for HIV so they can take steps to stay healthy and protect their baby. And even if you don't have any risk factors, you should get tested for HIV at least once in your life as part of routine health care. This is recommended by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or CDC for everyone aged between 13 and 64 years old. But remember, please consult a healthcare professional for advice tailored to your specific circumstances. If you get tested too late, the condition will be severe, but if you get tested too early, you might get a negative result even if you are infected, or often called a false negative result. This is because there is a window period after HIV infection during which the test cannot reliably detect the virus. So then, what are the tests and what tests can I use for HIV diagnosis? Now, before looking at the test, we should look a little bit into the biology of HIV. HIV virus is a viral pathogen. Its core contains a type of nucleic acids. In this case, the viral core is RNA and its surrounding contains antigen. When the virus comes into the body, the human body will react to it by producing antibodies. And when the virus successfully infects the human cell, it will force the cell to make several HIV DNA copies, which is also a type of nucleic acid. In this case, it's DNA compared to the RNA of the viral core. Now with that in mind, there are three common types of HIV tests. Firstly, the antibody test. These tests look for the antibodies to HIV in your blood or oral fluid. So in terms of quick tests conducted at home is usually an antibody test. In general, antibody tests that use blood from a vein can detect HIV sooner than tests done with blood from a finger stick or with oral fluid. Antibody tests can only detect HIV after 23 to 90 days of exposure. Secondly, the antigen antibody test. These tests look for both HIV antigen and antibodies. Antigen antibody tests are recommended for testing done in labs. 
The lab test often involves drawing blood from a vein or a finger stick. Antigen antibody tests can only detect HIV after 18 to 90 days of exposure. The third one is nucleic acid test or NAT. These tests look for the actual virus in the blood, whether it is RNA or DNA. With NAT, the healthcare provider will drop blood from your vein and send a sample to a lab for testing. The test can tell if a person has HIV or not, or how much virus it presents in the blood. This is why it's often called HIV viral load test. The NAT test can detect HIV sooner than other types of tests, but still it can only detect HIV after 10 to 33 days of exposure. You can notice that there is no test that can detect HIV right away. When you are infected with HIV, there is a period of time for the virus to replicate to an amount enough for the test to pick up the presence of the virus. This period is called the window period of HIV, and even with the most advanced diagnosis techniques, the shortest window period will still be more than a week of infection. This is why it's always important to consult with a healthcare professional for advice tailored to your specific circumstances, including potential exposure to the virus and timing of the test. And if possible, rather than seeking immediate diagnosis, seeking medical care within 72 hours after HIV exposure will allow you to use the post-exposure prophylaxis therapy or PEP therapy, which can prevent you from getting infected with HIV in the first place. Well now then, what if my HIV testing result is positive? If your HIV test result is positive, it means that the tests have confirmed the presence of HIV in your body. But sometimes it can be a false positive result. So here are the steps that you should take. Number one, you should consult a healthcare professional. If you test in a community program or take an HIV test yourself and it's positive, you should go to a healthcare provider for follow-up testing. They can provide you with information about the next steps, which usually include additional testing to really confirm the diagnosis and to access your immune system. Number two, start treatment. This is often related to the healthcare services as well. If the follow-up tests also come back positive, your healthcare provider will discuss treatment options with you. Antiretroviral therapy or ART is the standard treatment for HIV. And if starts treating early and consistently, it can help you live a long and healthy life. Number three, emotional support. A positive diagnosis of HIV can be really emotionally challenging. Reach out to supportive friends, family members, or professional counselors. There are also numerous organizations that provide resources and support for people living with HIV. And you might also ask, what if my HIV test results is negative? Can I relax now? Well, you can relax, but you must remain cautious. And still, you should contact your healthcare provider as soon as possible after exposure. Because rather than try diagnosis, you can gain access to post-exposure prophylaxis to prevent you from getting HIV. When your HIV test results is negative, it does not necessarily mean that you don't have HIV. That's because of the window period, the time between a person gets HIV and when a test can accurately detect it. When you get an HIV test after a potential exposure and the test result is negative, you should get tested again after the window period for the test you took. If you test again after the window period, and during that time you must have no possible HIV exposure, and the result is negative, then you do not have HIV. However, if you are sexually active or use needles to inject drugs, you should continue to take actions to prevent HIV, both non-medication strategy and medication strategy, and continue to get tested at least once a year. Remember, your HIV test result reveals only your HIV status. Taking an HIV test is not a way to find out if your partner has HIV. So while you can relax after a negative test, it's important to continue taking precautions and get retested after the window period to confirm your status. Since HIV diagnosis can be tricky sometimes, you should always consult with a healthcare professional for advice tailored specifically to your scenario. So, in conclusion, diagnosis is a critical step in managing the spread 
and the impact of HIV. However, it's tricky. It involves various testing methods, and it's important to note that there's a window period after HIV exposure, during which tests may not accurately detect the virus. Therefore, a negative test result does not necessarily mean that one is free from HIV, especially if tested too soon after potential exposure. Anyone testing positive or anyone suspecting of HIV infection should seek immediate medical attention. And also, regular testing at least once a year is recommended for those at risk. Remember, early detection and treatment can significantly improve the quality of life for people living with HIV. And thank you for watching. This should be the end of the video. Hope you find it helpful. Please support the channel by subscribing and leave a comment and share if you like. If you want to know more about the basics of HIV, HIV transmission and prevention, you can check out the videos in my channel. Goodbye for now and have a great day everyone. The information provided on this channel is for general informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified qualified healthcare provider with any questions you may have regarding a medical condition. Never disregard professional medical advice or delay in seeking it because of something you have seen or heard on this channel.